Oscillators are the basic components of many audio processing algorithms, and our plugins provide an extremely versatile way to control them. We will use M tremolo on a short orchestral string piece to demonstrate how the oscillator shapes work. This editor shows and controls the shape of an oscillator. We will walk through the parameters to see how they affect the audio. When you click into the field, you can choose between several predefined shapes sine, triangle, rectangle, saw, and much more. Or you can use this slider, which allows you to morph between the shapes. Use the right mouse button to restore the default value, sine, as with all sliders in our plugins. The custom shape slider lets you morph between the basic shapes. Or you can click on the edit button to draw any oscillator shape. Set the custom shape parameter to 100% and the oscillator shape now looks exactly how it is drawn. The lower the custom shape parameter is set, the more it resembles the predefined main shape. Our custom shape has square edges, causing audible popping in the audio. We can fix this using the smoothness parameter. Another way to define your own shape is to use the step sequencer. Again, we can morph between the current shape and the step sequencer. Note that the smoothness is set to 100%, which reduces the audible clicking on the step sequencer's sharp edges. Click on the edit button to edit the sequence. Use the number of steps slider to control the length of the sequence. Note that the oscillator rate doesn't change. Now let's see what happens with no smoothing. Even a little smoothing can effectively prevent clicking caused by the square edges of the shape. Now let's morph between all of the methods. The main shape, the custom shape and the step sequencer. The oscillators also provide a more advanced way of changing their shape. First, there are shaping processes, which can distort the shape you already have. Also add harmonics that produce the same shapes at a higher frequency. Each harmonic also has a controllable phase shift. The eighth harmonic is eight times faster than the original shape, so it sounds a little like an eight-step sequencer. You can also combine several harmonics. Shape transformation allows very advanced processing. It provides a transfer function from the input to a location on the current shape. Now let's explain what it does. 
This transfer function results in two sine waves. The first one is a result of this line going up. The second one is created by the line going down. And because it is going down, the sine is inverted. In this more obvious example, the first sine is now shorter. These examples should demonstrate the function a little more. In practice, however, it will usually be an experimental tool. Amplitude transformation controls the vertical shape of the wave and again can be demonstrated using the following examples.